So, here is our question for the day. Moffat Creek is going to have a special Remembrance Day assembly. 1,858 students and 58 teachers will attend. The gymnasium will have 49 rows of 48 seats. Will there be any empty seats? If there is empty seats, how many? So the first thing I have to do is I look at my numbers. I know I'm going to have 1,854 students and I know I'm going to have 58 teachers. So that's the amount of people who are attending. So I have to think, okay, if there's this many students and this many teachers, what do I do? So if I have this amount and this amount and I want to find a total, I have to add them together. So that I can maybe do that over here. So 1,854 plus 58. And I can add those together. So I take my 4 and my 8, because I always start with my 1's column, and I get 12. Carry the 1. Then I move into my next column. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So again, I carry the number, and I have 1 plus 8, which is 9, and the last one, which is in the 1,000 column, is 1. So in total, I have 1,912 people. So if I'm explaining my thinking, maybe I can say that. There will be 1,912 people attending. Awesome. So I have that amount done, and I have to move on to my next part. I have to figure out how many chairs there will be. I know I'm going to have 49 rows, so if I can kind of maybe draw it out a little bit. I'm going to have 49 rows. And with 49 rows, I know on each of these, there's going to be 48 seats. Okay, so... I have 48 seats, 49 rows, so um, I need to figure out what my amount's going to be. <clears throat> a lot of you would know that we have to then multiply these numbers because it's a lot quicker than adding 49, 48 times. So I can do this a number of different ways, and we're going to explore those ways together. The first way that I think a lot of us feel most comfortable with is to do the box way. So I create a box, and I think to myself, okay, I have 48 here. So 40 is divided into 40 and 8. And then I look at 49. That is divided into 40 and 9. Okay, now I have four boxes I have to figure out. And it makes it quite easy to figure out. I then look at this box, and if I was to take my fingers, I take the 8 and the 40, and I come into one spot, and 40 times 8, well, that's kind of tricky, so let's cover up the 0. 4 times 8, well, if I know my multiplication facts, I know it's going to be 32, and then I bring over the 0. I now look at the next column down, and this 40 can't come into the here. That 40 can't come into here, so it has to be 8 and 9. So 8 times 9, you can do it any way you want. Some people will do a t-chart, some people will do an array. So let's maybe do an array for this one. We have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bubbles, and then I have to make 9 columns for that. So I could keep doing that if I wanted to, but I like using my finger way. I use my fingers, I put down my eighth finger, and I get 72. Moving into this column, 40 times 40. Big numbers, but I know how to do that. I cover up the zeros. I do 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and I bring in my two zeros. And last, I do 4 times 9, because if I cover up that zero, 4 times 9, <clears throat> I know that 4 times 9 is 36. And now I have a zero. So I have all the numbers in my box. What do I do with those numbers? Well, as you know, we add them together. So I'm going to take 1,600, and I'm going to take 320. I'm going to take 360. And I'm going to take 72. It does not matter which order you put these in. You can put them all in whatever orders you want, but you have to make sure you add them up in the proper columns. So on my ones columns, they'll come to two. My tens columns, 2 plus 6 is 8, and another 2 is 15. 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, carry the 1, and I have 1 plus 1, which is 2. 2,352. This, I believe, is the total number of seats. 
Okay, so I have that written out. I know exactly what I'm thinking, and I'm doing well so far. <clears throat> One thing I can do, though, to try to prove my thinking is try to solve it in another way. So we've talked a lot about other ways we can do it. Let's maybe take a look at the algorithm way today. So we're going to do 48 times 49. When I'm doing the algorithm way, I always start with the ones column, and it's 9 times 8. We know from above 9 times 8 is 72. Carry the 7. Now I do 9 times 4. We talked about that again before, and that is 36. And I add this number here, so 36 plus 7 is 36. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Now, I'm moving into my tens column. What we need to do is we need to make sure we just put a place marker here so we don't put anything down. You can put a zero if you want, which a lot of people do. Now I'm going to do 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is 32. Carry the 3. 4 times 4 is 16. 16, 17, 18, 19. And now I add these together. 2, 5, uh, 3, carry the 1, and 2. I get 2,352 which is the same number I got over here, so my answer must be correct. But you know what? I really want that level four work, so I'm going to prove my way slightly another way, and I'm going to use the lattice way. <clears throat> so if I'm doing the lattice way, I'm going to have 40 and 8. Okay, and then over here, I'm going to have 40 and 9. Everything in the big box there. Yep, we're good. And then I'm going to divide each of these boxes in half. All right. And I can start here. 8 times 4, talked about that before, is 32. 3, which is in the tens column, goes up here. 2. And I'm going to do 8 times 9, which is 72. Move here. 4 times 4 is 16. And down here, 4 times 9. Well, we know again that that's 36. And all we have to do is add up our numbers along here. So the only one diagonally in this column is a 2. Then I do 2 plus 7 plus 6. 2 plus 7 is 9. Plus 6 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 6 is 10. Plus 3 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And look at that. I got the same answer again. 2,352. So will there be enough seats? Well, yes, there will. If there are empty seats, how many? Well, if I know that there's going to be some empty seats, I know that this many people are coming, I know that I have this number of seats, I will then subtract them. So I'm going to maybe do B over here. B, and I make sure I label it so I know exactly what I'm doing. I would type 2,352. And I'm going to take away the total number of people coming, which is 1,912. Take it away. And I have 2 minus 2, which is 0. 5 minus 1, which is 4. I've got 3 minus 9. Oh, man, I can't do it because if I have 3 apples, I can't give away 9 of them. So I'm going to borrow. That becomes a 1. This becomes 13. 13 take away 9. It's 4. And 1 take away 1 is 0. So... If there are empty seats, how many? There will be 440 empty seats. Okay, and you can't quite see that, but I will show you what I wrote here, right there. I could even write it over here if I wanted to, but in the end, this is what my sheet looks like. I've got all my information, and I have a level 4 piece of work. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know.